What up, you guys? Y'all tuning in with your boy, Summer Smoke Boss, and I'm back at it again today with another awesome cooking video. Today, I'm going to be doing some beef chuck ribs. So, I got some beef chuck ribs here. I pulled the uh, membrane off the back side of them, the silver back, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm going to be seasoning them up. I got a couple seasons here. I got some apple cider vinegar, nutmeg, thyme, oregano, minced garlic, saison, carry onions and tomatoes and nutmeg and then some white flour the full recipe will be in the description for you check below so first i'm gonna start going over with my saison So we added our saison. We'll go ahead and put in our curry, our thyme and oregano, our nutmeg, black pepper, apple cider vinegar, minced garlic. Then we're just going to mix that all together. So then I'm going to put in my white flour. I'm going to add in my scallions and my tomatoes. And we just get everything combined together. You guys, and I'm going to let this marinate for 12 hours, pretty much overnight. And we're going to start cooking the first thing in the you know, first thing in the morning, let me stay tuned. All right, you guys, after 12 hours after our ribs, you no know, marinated, we'll go ahead and start braising them on the stove top before we throw them in the oven, get them a little brown on there. So we don't want to overcrowd the pan when we're doing that. That's that sound you just want to hear right there, nice sizzle. So that's good. You don't want to overcrowd the pan because then you'll start getting a lot of moisture and water in there. Instead of braising. That's exactly how you want it. You want it to get a nice little brown crust on there. Then we just flip them over like that. Let the other side get that fat a little around it. Then we'll be standing to the side and keep doing that the same way. Right. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, so this is my last batch of finishing up. I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. So this is what I'm going to do. See, they're all nice and brown. Like I told you guys what we're going to do. I'm going to scrape everything out the bottom. Then we're going to put our beef broth in there. We're going to put about two quarts in there. Two cups, not quarts. Two cups of beef broth. So Y'all check it out. We got some uh, sweet onions that I didn't put in there when I was marinated. But I'm going to put some in there. Put half in there. Everything that I marinated it with. 
we just gonna go ahead and put that in there. That's okay, the meat ain't done anyway. So, all your tomatoes, everything. So we just gonna give us a little spin like that. And you see that color coming to that beef broth like that? So check it out. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna put our ribs over in there and you know how we put that flour on there? It's gonna make that nice gravy too. You're gonna have to check it every so often. Make sure you don't need to yeah, add in any more beef broth. But I think we should be good. You wanna ensure you use yourself a non-stick pot because your veggies may stick to the bottom. If you get to running low on fluid. And I'm gonna put the rest of my sweet onions on top. I got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. We're gonna put it in the oven for about two and a half hours and we'll check on it periodically. Stay tuned. You guys know we have the full family product of the beef chuck ribs. See, they falling off the bone, man. We added in them potatoes and carrots. It's about to be some good eating today. You got a whole meal right here in one pot. All you need is something green now. And I know I got some it's green scary, cooking up on the stove. Woo! Thanks for tuning in to this video. Y'all be sure to give it some comments. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks for tuning in. We out.